Hello world, hello world. Welcome back to my channel. Call me Biz. <laughs> this, this is titled Steven Seagal. It, it's, just, it's just titled Steven Seagal. Uh, look, I be watching this YouTube channel called um, Space Ice. He have these videos called uh, <laughs> the worst movies ever or the best movies ever. It's usually about like, um, like old school like movie stars like Steven Seagal. <laughs> the Steven Seagal was uh, hilarious. Uh, uh. John claude Van Damme, st stuff like that. And he's just hilarious. And yo, every time I hear a story <laughs> or I see something about Steven Seagal, in my head, I'm like, <laughs> this guy really, this is a real person. And it's hilarious. Anyways, look, we're about to see what this is. Uh, I guess it's a story about Steven Seagal. Uh, y'all let me know how you feel about it. If y'all want to see more of Steven Seagal clips on this channel. Look, if you enjoyed this content, hit that subscribe button. Like the video if you like the video. Leave a comment. <laughs> let me know you were here. No more ghost watching 2024. If you ain't got nothing to say, just be like I was here. That's love. Let's go ahead and watch. So, uh, <laughs> I've, I've been watching a, a shit ton of... What I like to call the Intamin's Donut Goatee Seagal era films. <laughs> yeah, we watched one anything, last night. Anything post 2000. Dude, let me suck off some coffee. Probably 2011 or 12. <laughs> okay. So the last four <laughs> years of Seagal movies. And he's never been, like, uh, particularly an active guy. But, you know, like. Uh, any under siege era, he's in good shape. He's, he's in, like no, he's in above the law. First of all, p what people don't realize about Seagal is that. When Above the Law came out, he was already like 34 years old. Right. Mm -hmm. He wasn't a young guy. So his first movie, he was right. already, you know, like getting on. And yeah. you can see his hairline's fucked up in that movie. You yeah, know, it's yeah, all yeah. like thin, you know, in the mm -hmm. front. Mm -hmm. And then in Hard to Kill, his hairline's fixed. And, you know, uh, he's a little bit fatter. And he just got progressively fatter through throughout his entire career. Yeah, that was he's back talking. in the day when you didn't have to be cut. Yeah. Well, now he's 65 years old. <laughs> <laughs> and in, in a lot, he's in his 60s. His body he's still, sucks. He's still making movies where it's like, we need to send our best special forces out. <laughs> and then he spends half the movie in a chair. He yeah. like, refuses to get out. So we watched last night uh, Sniper Special Ops. And they, there's no colon. It's Sniper Special Ops. <laughs> <laughs> and that's because, it's, wanted, that's because the Tom Berenger Sniper series are not related to Sniper Special Ops. Uh -huh. And he does maybe five seconds of sniping in the movie. <laughs> it's right in the beginning. He refuses to take his son glasses off while looking through the sniper rifle so he's wearing these dumb fucking like snowboarding sunglasses while like looking down this rifle and then when they show the enemies in the reticle they're like five feet away they're, they're taking up the entire scope so he's probably yeah like ten five feet away from these guys so awesome. and missing you know, like, yeah, I don't know, like, yeah, yeah. they let him miss for you say he refuses to take it off you're saying you think Steven Seagal the actor yeah is like no absolutely not I'm not getting out of this chair. I'm not taking off yes, the sunglasses. Yes, 100%. I guarantee you that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Because the thing about all these movies is, is they're all produced by uh, Steamroller Productions, which he owns. What, that's like a Chinese. Oh, no, God. No, Steven Seagal's that? company. He owns it with some uh, like Indonesian guy or something. It's yeah, like when you work at a restaurant, voltage. you have to wait on the owner of the restaurant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, you know, all these people. And then he brings all these fucking old fucks out of retirement. So it's like, you know, like Rob Van Winkle, like dying wrestlers. Rob, being, yeah, it's all like uh, yeah. retired yeah. WWE really? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, I gotta check this out. Yeah. <laughs> in Sniper Special Dam. Ops, you know, it's like... Oh, RVD? Yeah. RVD, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. In Sniper Special Ops, he's like... He's the lingo guy. Overwatch. Two is at Charlie. Anything in my area? I love it. He's yeah. He's playing like uh, you know they're part of like this like special though. ops team, <laughs> and they're all like in the the minimum age is fifty one years, old. <laughs> <laughs> and they're in like Afghanistan somewhere. Of course. And then they show their commander, who's a major, and because it he's wouldn't make colonel. sense. Yeah, he's a colonel. And it wouldn't make sense if he was like, you know, Young. their age. So they have like an 87 year old man. <laughs> In army class, yes. really? This fucking decrepit old man uh, in uh, army awesome. uniform, and he's like, "Well, I don't know if we can get up that mountain by sunrise." 
I had a divining rod that tells me there's gold in them hills, you know, and it's, it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, I mean, Seagal is like, he literally puts such minimum effort into the action. Like, the way he fires the gun is like, I can't yeah. even describe it. Uh, yeah, like, he just sort of lays the podcast. Like, yeah. yeah, he's just like limp wristedly <laughs> firing the gun, like, yeah. not even looking where he's shooting. Yeah. No, there's, uh, uh, there's so one good. scene in Sniper Special Ops where he's working some radio and he's just sort of lazily pointing a gun at the window next to him <laughs> in case anyone comes because it's understood that he never really has to aim the gun. <laughs> oh, yeah, his partner also gets shot and it, he needs to drag him away. And it's clear that he's, like, connected to, like, some sort of wire. Yeah. And, like, you see and him Steve, pulling the Steve guy, Steve's but he's, just like, touching, literally... He's just, he's no just touching his, his shoulder. Yeah. And then the fucking body moves across the <laughs> ground as to all his <laughs> <laughs> we were, oh, I'm yeah, so really jealous! I I, I literally <laughs> almost peed my pants. Yeah, oh, I, I, yeah. anything anything post 2012 is like this. Sergeant Chandler. Yes, ma'am. Are you really as good as they all say you are? Every once in a while. And he's got one of those. Oh, like, and he talks like a black person now. Yeah. Well, that started with Glimmer Man and it's progressed. Where now he talks like a slave. Thanks for not leaving me behind. Don't mention it, brother. He's like a uh, he's, 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 like, he's a jazz he's a, man now. Uh, yeah. Oh hell. You know these motherfuckers don't <laughs> don't have the patience. He's for prop me. Joe. He talks oh, like God. prop <laughs> Joe. Yeah. I got a proposition. Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong with you, man? You're slipping. But you can't check your six. Robert? Just like old Tom's, huh? Me saving your life and your hooker girl flying up into the wind. Well, I, I, I already told these motherfuckers if they want any of my business, they're gonna have to come around here and cut me off, cut me off a little something that. Uh, that's you know, so maybe we'll, good. we'll maybe do a little mission here in a minute. He should play like, a black no, guy in the next. Yeah, yeah, he should. He could. Well, he, he plays yeah. a black guy in Glimmer Man. That's like for whatever reason he stops being Chinese and he's black in that movie. I'm confused. We got the badges, we got the guns, we got a screwdriver. It's kind of like, you know, taking a screwdriver to a gunfight. And pig, that's an old phrase. Y'all must not be from around here. Y'all must be from another country. What's on the, uh, the, the queue is uh, Asian Connection, which I want to watch with him. <laughs> Uh, what a fucking retarded name! Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what the connection is yeah. in that. What, it, what it's, it's referring the connection to? Connection between Steven Seagal and the dialysis machine. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fucking uh, stint in his arm. That means one of us has to die. We will leave it to fate. Yeah, they go like through his like special ops dossier, like on the computer, and there's a picture of him young. And we were joking around last night. It's about, from like, a movie. It's from another movie yeah, from like from, 30 years. Yeah, ago. it's from like yeah, the fucking yeah. It's uh, all, the same all, universe. All, yeah. They're all in the same in, universe. In the cover for Sniper Special Ops, they've just photoshopped his fat head on someone else's body. <laughs> yes, as poorly as they possibly oh, can. That's so I love awesome. his yeah. fat head. No, they just they fucking pump these movies out. The other one we, uh, we watched the other night, A Good Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's barely a title. <laughs> Yeah. It's all three words. Yeah. Too. Yeah. A good man, yeah. Where he plays. Does he play the good man? Yeah, he's the good man. Of course. I wonder how much pussy he get. Do you think he get more than like uh, Osama bin Laden got? I'm, I'm going to be sorry to kill his ass. And so basically the plot is this. He's I've like this uh, some kind of ex-special. It's always ex-special force. Right, right. And he's living, in, uh, he's living in Bucharest. And uh, he, uh, you know, just has an apartment and he's been tracking this uh, weapons dealer that got away when he murdered all these people that killed his partner. They have a flashback scene in the beginning where you see him sneaking into some building, just fatly going around corners <laughs> while his while his special ops partner, who looks like a fucking homeless person. <laughs> this guy's like, again, 57, 60 years old, you know, emaciated, <laughs> shitty, like fucking, you know, like uh, 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 like Civil War general. Like, Fu Manchu type yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, that kind of shit, you know. Like uh, like McClellan, that's what he yes, was saying. Yes. <laughs> and he, you know, and uh, he's like, "We got to get into the we. The, you got two tangos on your left, you know. Yeah. This homeless guy that's, in the woods on Overwatch and Steven Seagal, and then like a thing blows up and some girl dies. I want to see all of them. And so he's upset, so he wants to go find this weapons dealer who's a Chinese guy. 
and he's in Bucharest and he's like killing these Russian gangsters and uh, his calling card when he kills them is he leaves some incense on the ground and then oh. just scribbles some bullshit in Chinese <laughs> oh. and uh, and so oh, his, his so neighbor bullshit. who's this woman who's like having trouble getting into her apartment one day and has like a young girl with her uh, he's like Need a little help, you know, and then he just breaks into her apartment Need for her or whatever, <laughs> and then they're in there, and he's like, you know, like yeah, your kid's nice or whatever, and she's like, yes, uh, I love my sister, and then you see, like, that's supposed to be like let you know, like, yeah, her pussy isn't ruined. That's her <laughs> sister. It's not her daughter. And then Seagal's like. Your sister, huh? <laughs> <laughs> like, they make yeah. you wouldn't have fucked before. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's what the implication is. My name's Lena. Chu. And she's my sister, Mia. What's happening? And then so, uh, and then the plot gets really fucking convoluted. Where, yeah, the, so the the uh, arms dealer is doing a deal with the Russian mob, who he's not really interested in. But the Russian mob owns the neighbor and the sister because the the her dad owed them money. So Gosh. when the dad died, she had to become a bartender in their strip club, not a stripper, not then, not a whore, not a whore, not a prostitute. They just make her be a bartender. She's pure. And, but then she still has a, a really nice apartment, you know. Yeah. And, the Russian uh, mafia sounds pretty reasonable. Right, dude. yeah. <laughs> so the Russian mafia loses all their money or something, and they owe money to the arms dealer. Oh, and God. so instead of giving him the money, they're like, we will give you the girl instead. So and she's their slave? Their slave, basically. But the arms dealer, like, I don't know why he would want a girl. Yeah. He's like, no, it's $2 million. I don't, million. Yeah. I don't want just some fucking middle-aged Romanian woman. <laughs> You know, and then he was like, he's like, deal. And then they bring the little girl instead of like the main one. And he's like, well, I guess I can sell her to a pedophile. So he lines up a sale with a pedophile. <laughs> and then the pedophile shows up. What the <laughs> fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's, there's three human transactions yeah, in yeah, this yeah. movie. Yeah. And then uh, Seagal shows up with this other guy. He does this thing now where he brings a younger martial artist in, and they do the majority of the ass kicking. Right, and right. then so Seagal does barely nothing. Seagal meets the younger guy, and he's like, all right, I'll help you, but you got to do everything my way. And then the guy does everything for himself. Right, Seagal right, does right, literally right. nothing. Yeah. So they save the guy, or they save the girl, and then at the end of the movie, the neighbor... It was just like, you know, basically like, well, I can't thank you enough. And then he just fucks her. <laughs> he just fucks the woman. Even though there's been no romantic connection between the two. He's older than her by 40 years. <laughs> they make these poor young actresses. I was going to say how much fucking never going to get yeah. any other Well, the fucking scene is him fully clothed while she's naked and he's just touching her body. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't. He's, he's still wearing his sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, that's and that's so that's awesome. Steven Seagal's definition of a good man. Yeah, yeah, that's the good man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man, I want to watch this. I'm jealous, dude. They're so good. Do they I ever say you, good man in the movie? No, they don't. don't. That's a big oh, disappointment. That yeah. But that's I mean, they're filled down. with like basically every shit. trope that you know from the '80s. You know, like there's another one I watched, Code of Honor, last night, and it opens up with you know. Like a bunch of different types of gangs meeting in some meeting area, you know. So there's bikers, and then like cholos, and then black eyes, and then Russians, and they meet, and they of course they have briefcases, and they're like, <laughs> "You got the stuff," and it's like, "I want to see the money first. Right, right, you know? right, right, right. And it's like, I don't even know where you buy a suitcase anymore. <laughs> yeah. Like that, how much the, the props <laughs> department spent days <laughs> looking for a suitcase to put that money in. Yeah, well, I, I was saying, him. I tweeted at him, I really want to write a movie where S Steven Seagal kills James Bond. What? I don't you want to license Putin James to Bond. Produce yeah, that. yeah, you could make yeah. that in Russia. And there could He's be best friends with Putin. Yeah. You could yeah. do it and you He's just imply really, really heavily like, that like it's James Bond. Right? No, I want to yeah. use the name James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this James Bond motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody says their name twice to me. I'm Guilan Can we just make a shitty action movie? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. That would I mean, be awesome. As shitty as those movies look, they still cost probably $4 million. I know, but million. you know what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. whatever, Let's dude. do we a just, feature like this. We'll rent yeah. some Humvees. It's not that yeah, hard. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Yo, that is hilarious. <laughs> Yo, you know what's crazy? Like, the first couple of movies, uh, damn, the one with him on the train, I like that one. Like... 
I want to see all of Steven Seagal movies. Like, I want to see every single one of them. This guy, every story I've heard of this guy is just the funniest shit ever. <laughs> Like, you should see what, like, the interviews of people who have worked with him, like, talk about him. It's, it's, it's the funniest shit. All of them say he's like a piece of shit. I heard he be beating up the doubles, the stunt doubles, which he uses a lot. <laughs> Majority of those movies ain't even him. And when you do see him, he's, like, sitting down. Or it's just, like, a headshot of him. Some of those movies, they use the same scenes over. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Um... Yeah, I go check out this guy, man, Space Ice. Yo, every time I see him review a Steven Seagal movie, I, and I try to find the movie so I can watch it, this shit is gold. I'm telling y'all, this shit is it, it, fucking, it's fucking gold. Sometimes I can't even believe the shit that I'm watching. I'm like, yo, yo, fam. You know how people react to Tubi movies? It be like that, but... Uh, but I feel like people like to be movies. Like, I like Steven Seagal movies, not because I like Steven Seagal movies. It's just because I legit can't believe the shit I'm watching. <sighs> Good times, man. <laughs> y'all gotta watch the right shit. Look, I'll see y'all in the next one. And guess what? You better be there. Peace.